What's good, y'all? It's Key, and I'm back with another video, bruh. Look, today we got Chris Webby North of Richmond remix, all right? Now, I know I'm late to this, right? Um, We react to Dat's remix, right? So when I went to type this in, I seen I seen things that say Chris Webby killed Dat, so, you know what I'm saying, with the remix or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? But... We rock with Chris Webby up here, bro. So we about to check it out. And we already react to the original version of North of Richmond. So, and it was fire. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need to listen to that, to be honest with you. Everybody need to listen to it. Keep it in the boat. But um, let's get straight to the video, bro. Let's see what, let's see what Chris Webby said. Come on. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up. May it not be true, but it is, oh it is, living in the new world, with an old soul, these rich men know the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Yeah. Hold on, is he from, is he from Richmond, Virginia? Y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all say he's from Virginia. Is he from Richmond, Virginia? Like, y'all let me know in the comments. Give me freedom or give me death To that we pledge allegiances We the people had enough It's time we aired our grievances again Oh, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on That we pledge allegiance Hold on, hold on, hold on Control. Yo, give me freedom or give me death Give me freedom, okay To that we pledge allegiances We the people had enough It's time we aired our grievances Fast. Against these treasonous demons So raise the alarm Cause the pigs are fully taken over On this animal farm Come Don't on. know anymore This world's gotten too cold to ignore Shit, is it 2023 or 1984? Thought police up at my door To open fire on me But I'd rather die on my feet Than survive on my knees mm, come on now Listen to what he said, though, bro. He thought the police were at his door to fire on him. He, but he said, I'd rather die on my feet than survive on my knees. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, stand out, bro. He's standing 10 toes down, bro. He's standing 10 toes down until he died. You know what I'm saying? He ain't bow, he ain't bow down to nobody, no man. Like, oh, no, none of that, bro. That's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Stand on your own two, stand on your own two feet, bro. You know what I'm saying? Wait, you know what I'm saying? Anything, everything you do, you know what I'm saying? Even when you like, that's just like saying when you want to speak up for something, you know what I'm saying? Like speak up on it, you know what I'm saying? Stand on it, stand on what you're saying, you know what I'm saying? But hey, that's how it's got to be though, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I'd rather die on my feet than survive on my knees, and that's a fact. Come on now. And please, we know how they looking at us from up at the top. The tougher they made it for us, the fucking tougher we got. They That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That they did made it tough. And that's like saying going through the struggle. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like plenty of people out here that go through the struggle. You know what I'm saying? The struggle would make you tougher. For real, for real. Especially if you grow up not having nothing. And then once you achieve it, bro, you feel appreciated. You know what I'm saying? It just got you gonna have that grind mentality. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody has that. You know what I'm saying? So they thought they'd keep us scared forever, but fuck it, we not. We'll send them back to North of Richmond in some cuffs or a box. Bow. It's a damn shame. Come on. What the world's gotten to. Hey, people like me, people like you, wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men know the rich men, Lord knows they all just wanna have total control. Behind the politicians, there's a far more sinister villain that's power driven. Only answer to money is their religion. They can. Hold on, let me take this back. Let me. Okay. Sinister villain. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Total control. Let's see. Behind the politicians, there's a far more sinister villain that's power driven. Only answer to money is their religion. Yeah. They're controlling the way that we live and keeping us mentally stuck in a prison. Come so on. that the fire they know. That's a fact, too, bro. Keeping us mentally stuck, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna go deep into that, but people, people are mentally drained, mentally stuck, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, you got to see through it. You know what I'm saying? You got to see through what they saying. Their religion, they controlling the way that we live and keeping us mentally stuck in a prison. Come on, so let that fire they know is rebellion never can spread whenever it's risen. Yeah, they've been seeing us waking up and now they fucking afraid as we the people get to see and through their fucking charade. Come We're on, being played by these elites who would rather see us enslaved as they lead us by the hand where the land's dug with a grave. And mm. they could kill a character through stories they publish or they'll just murder. Yep, they, yep, I know. Yeah, that's a fact. I see many of people get, you know what I'm saying, get their character, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get their character killed by stories they, they publish, you know what I'm saying? Like how you talk about how do you publish a story about somebody when you don't even know them in real life? You know what I'm saying? Like, cool, you're a journalist, you know what I'm saying? I I guess that's what they call it. A journalist. You know what I'm saying? You got made stories or, you know what I'm saying, made posts about people like people made they made stuff about Kanye. And they made stuff about a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? But you don't really know that person. Like you don't really know them. Know them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the internet, bro, you can't believe everything you see on the internet, bro. For real. Like, bro. This day, this generation, bro, this day and age, y'all, um, you can go, bro, you can, people, people can hate you so easily off just a post, you know what I'm saying? Like, they will make a, they, they'll make a post about you, about anything you do, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter what it is, to be honest with you, it doesn't matter. Like, you can go in there, you can go on the basketball court. And talk with somebody, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? So like you can talk trash to somebody on the sideline and they go, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna be mad at you. Cause you're talking. But they talk, you know what I'm saying? They talk to you first. So it's, bro, it's a lot of stuff wrong with this generation. But this right here could kill your character through stories they publish. Now nah, that's a fact. I see plenty of people, plenty, especially artists, like they get their story, you know what I'm saying? They get, bro. Y'all know what I mean, though, because y'all see it all the time. It's, we in 2023, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, what did it say? It like character through stories they publish Or they'll just murder us and brand it as suicide to the public Or an accidental overdose Print the story, run it, say it's fact So people trust it, accept it, and move on from it but Hey! He talking though, bro. Everything he's saying, bro. This is exactly what you see today. Print the story, like, run it, say it's fact, so people trust. Like, listen, bro. Overdose, print the story, run it, say it's fact, so people accept that move from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the bro, some stories, most, I guarantee nine, I guarantee ninety five percent of the stories they post is not even facts. You know what I'm saying? They just saying stuff, like. They just saying stuff that they don't know nothing about. But that's their job at the same at at the end of the day, that's their job. But at the same time, you don't know people have feelings. You know what I'm saying? People have feelings about everybody have feelings. So sometimes you gotta watch what you post, watch what you say. At the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But some some people don't got no filter, so it's just it accepted and move on from it but it's time to pick a side and get to striking a nerve in any way we're able i'm fighting this fight with my words and if they keep pushing then fuck it we inciting the purge mm. oh we oh we start oh we inciting the purge oh boy we don't need that purge happening oh no <laughs> just to think all we wanted was the rights we deserve yeah it's a damn shame. hey what the world's gotten to for people like me he killed that People like you wish I could just wake up Come on. and not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. Come on. Living in the world with an old soul. The rich men know the rich men. Lord knows they all just wanna have total control. Wanna know what you think. Wanna know what you do. And they don't think you know. But I know that you do. Your dollar ain't shit. And it's Come on. 
This is fire, bro. I I I like this remix. I'm not gonna lie. This 10 out of 10 right here, bro. Everything he said was facts. We we see it every day. You know what I'm saying? But like you can go on social media right now, you go see a story. You go see a blog page. You know what I'm saying? Just talking about people. You know what I'm saying? Like their job is at the end of the day, their job is to talk about people, but at the end of the day, you got to look at it. People have feelings, you know what I'm saying? You never know what people is going through in life. You know what I'm saying? Some people might be depressed and you're just making a story about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what people is going through in life. So, but just be careful, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just be careful. The generation is crazy. You know what I'm saying? The, gener the generation is crazy. Um, but... People just have got to have a level head. You know what I'm saying? Like, just stay on the right track. You know what I'm saying? But I love y'all. appreciate y'all. If y'all got any more videos y'all want me to react to, leave in the comments. Hopefully this video don't get blocked. Like, they blocked. They brought, they blocked the last video. I think, what was it? Blake London? I thought, look. Let me make sure, bro. Let me make sure that's the name. Because I don't need nobody. Let me see. No, that's not. That wasn't his name. My bro. My fact, I posted it. Ah, uh, hold on. Let me make sure before I get off here, bro. I'm trying to make sure that was. Make sure. All right, let me see. Let me see. Okay, Brandon Late. There it is. Brandon Late. I posted a video about Jesus. They blocked it. You know what I'm saying? It was a Christian song. I, I enjoyed that too. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people need to hear that. For real. But they blocked it. Like. They don't want to, people don't, it's like, I'm not even going to go deep into it because, to be honest, it don't matter, bro. Any video that you, you know what I'm saying, that's going to be important to the world, you know what I'm saying, to society, you know what I'm saying, that actually means something, it's going to get blocked, bro. I'm going to just put it right there, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to keep y'all on, man. Uh, y'all just show love, you know what I'm saying? Keep sharing, subscribing, liking. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Great for the next video. And we out.